Father, you, you talk about the flattening of the concept of the human person. And it means that our, our compass is, is out of whack. It's not taking us in the right direction. But as Catholics, we think of uh, human beings being made in the image of God. Does that correct our compass? Is this the kind of understanding we need? And what is the relevance of that for, for Catholic healthcare? If we're made in the image and likeness of God, then only if we understand what that means will we understand how to heal, how to live well, how to die well, how to face suffering when suffering comes our way. So it's important that we take seriously the, the consequences, the implications of the, of the image of God. And one of the things when you do that, when you really stop and think, image of God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one of the first things you realize is that there is no space of radical autonomy or independence in God. When we approach human life as if the pinnacle of life is independent, autonomous, individuals seeking some flourishing, disconnected from any sense of dependency, when you actually stop to think about that, you realize, wait a minute, that's exactly the opposite of the image of God. The image of God says that our flourishing, our living, our suffering, our dying are all done within a web of relationship, like God himself, a web of relationship and ultimately of dependence. And that that dependence is not uh, a mark on the human person that shows weakness. No, it is the very channel of love. That dependency and relationships are not marks of slavery to the human person, but they're actually the way that the very thing the human person desires comes to them through relationships, through that, that web of connectedness. So to be able to see that is to begin to be able to recognize that there is something that the human person absolutely needs that cannot come through merely physical procedures and medications. You could have the best processes and procedures and specializations unless you take seriously the fact that the human person is dependent on others and as the image of God on God, that there is a spiritual nature, there's a relational nature. Unless we take these things seriously, we are not ever going to be truly capturing that which the human heart desires. We will not recognize that there's something more that the human person needs to heal and also something that they can never lose, no matter how sick they are, no matter how disabled, no matter how suffering. That imprint of the image of God means that there's also something that that person can never lose. So I, I want to imagine how well-placed Catholics are to do this you imagine what a Catholic hospital could be that takes seriously these, not just the excellence of our knowledge and technology and progress, but the excellence of relationships, of the spiritual life. You truly would be healing the whole person. And I guarantee you other people would see that and then they would know what makes Catholic healthcare different.